so it is time for another Power BI update. This time it is for April 2023. So I'm going to give you the highlights of the update and my opinion. So let's get started. Okay, first of all is the dynamic format string for measures. These folks is a quality of life update. I understand there is no revolutionary, but it will just make your dashboard shine. So make sure that you do check it out. Because what it basically does it is allows you to have different formats for the same measure. Let's say, where would I like to have that? Well, you could have that for units, like pounds, the metrics, or you could have that for currency. You could have that for the amount of decimals displayed. This is a quality of life update. Seriously, check it out and use it in your report. You're going to love it. On object interaction updates. On object is the new formatting pane that I'm launching. I've actually tested it out. Um, I'm not mad about it. I mean, it takes a little bit to get used to it, but it is it's, it's not bad. Um, what I do <laughs> wish is that they will spend more time giving us formatting features for existing visuals and new visuals. Like, we have already have, this is like the third or the fourth formatting pane. I don't mind how I click. I seriously don't mind. If I have to click 30 times more, but just get what I need, I would be happy. So please start focusing on adding more formatting features to the visuals and new visuals. That's what we've been asking for all along. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully soon. There is a new auto-scale feature for tooltips, which basically means that the tooltip will auto-scale uh, auto by the camera size, okay? So GPT in Power BI, right? You're asking me, why don't you make a video about it? Here's the thing, I've already made a video about it. So the quick measures is GPT 3.5, right? And I've done a video about it, you've seen the results, so not great. And if you use it, the data will be sent to the United States. Probably your admins have already locked it, so you cannot even use it. And if you use ChatGPT, your data will be sent to OpenAI. Like I've been saying everywhere, like, don't. don't. You probably see the problems of training an, you know, an external model with your own data. Like, don't. <laughs> so there's a lot of things that need to happen before that would be suitable for Power BI. But... We'll see. I mean, they are doing reckless things, so we may see it sooner than it should be. But we'll see. On the modeling side, we have now some updates for order by that accepts now a measure um, on the first um, uh, parameter. And we have now two new DAX functions. We have rank and row number. And I think those are window functions too because they behave the same way so you will be able to do rank on a specific context that you specify within the measure okay and the difference between rank and row number is how it resolves the ties one will be give you the same number as the previous one the other one will try to resolve it and if not it will fail we need to look look into this uh, in more detail in a separate video so for PowerPoint uh, embed of Power BI reports, they are now adding styling features and they are starting with the outline. So you will be able to create an outline around the embed and do some stuff to it. Hopefully they will add more things, but for now that's what is available. Paginated reports are getting some love. So the paginated reports that are available in the service, they are available on Pro nowadays. You can now filter them. And I am really happy to see paginated reports with a modern UI, because the old one was absolutely terrible. So this is probably the way that people would use paginated reports, for sure. So it's a good update. So the mobile team has been busy and has bring out some features too. The first one is when you select a data point, it will have a pointer to indicate exactly which point you clicked. You know, when the lines are in a small screen, the points get together, you don't really know which point you click. Now you do. And the next one is that you will be able to disable tooltips. So neat, neat features, and we hope to see more from the mobile team, especially mobile visuals. That would be lovely. Okay, so this is all for today. What was your favorite update? For me, is the dynamic 
uh, string for sure. It's just, it's just great. And the dice uh, functions actually, I think they're going to come in handy. What was your favorite feature? Let me know in the comment box and I will see you again on the next update. Well, sooner, hopefully. <laughs> okay, bye.